hi everyone welcome back to my channel in this video I'm going to show you how to migrate your existing database on your EC2 instance to your RDS instance alright so let us get into AWS console and start building this okay so this was the EC2 instance that we created and we added some data into this particular EC2 instance right so that is where I'm connected to. So this is the EC2 instance 89.130 if you want to verify 89.130. So this is where our current database is located. So the lesson commands are in this same uh, document that I've uh, used previously. So this is where you can get all the uh, details here as well. Okay, so let us uh, start from here. So this is also done. We already have uh, some data. So if you want to see so what is the data that you have inside this database? So let me run this short query so you can also verify. So if we have the data or not, now I'm inside my MariaDB. So um, let me you know uh, use this particular database. So the database that we are using is um, uh, I think uh, EC2DB, right? So let me write that command here. Use EC2DB okay so i hope uh, i'm writing it correctly so yeah so right now i'm using ec2 db so let me paste uh, the command that used to see the table so whatever the table that we have inside that um, database you can visualize it by using select star from table one so let me see what is the data so if you see this is the data that we currently have so let us take a dump out of uh, a dump of this database and let us try to add that dump to our or let us try to migrate that dump to our rds instance okay so let me exit out of the uh, uh, you know maria db so let me clear my screen now so to do this to first step would be to take the dump of the existing database so how to do that so you need to run this query so or command mysql dump used to take the dump hyphen u uh, and uh, hyphen u represent what is the user so i am going to be a root user hyphen pre that will prompt you for your password so you need to enter your password and what is the password that we are using so this is the password we have already stored that also all right so what is the database so this is our database right ec2 db so that is what our uh, database is we will take that dump and the name of the dump that we are using is ec2db.sql so you need to you can give any name here ec2db but it should end with .sql right so that is one requirement so now let me uh, run this one let me quickly run this one so let me copy and paste it here if you see it is asking me for a password so the password that i used is this one right so this is the root password let me copy the root password so let me paste it here it will not be appearing you just after pasting it just click on enter so now if you see the dump is taken to your sql ec2.sql ec2db.sql so if you do not take a dump like this if you do not redirect it to a separate file what will happen it will display entire dump on your screen itself so that is not recommended so you can use a separate uh, .sql file to dump all your details into uh, .sql okay so now let me type in ls hyphen lrt so just to see if we have that dump if you see we have that particular dump here all right so now we have done with our first thing that is to take the dump of our existing uh, database now let us migrate this particular database so we have taken this uh, ec2.sql right so let us migrate it to our rds so for that you need to run this query or command so it is simple mysql hyphen h so host name so what is the host here you need to provide your rds endpoint so if you go back to rds so previously we discussed endpoint right you need to copy this endpoint and you need to make use of this endpoint right so that is what i have given here you need to replace this entire uh, thing with the rds endpoint 
hyphen p with the port number 3306 so this is what the port number is so please make sure you are allowing 338 3306 port on your uh, security group otherwise you will not be able to connect okay so hyphen u what is the username that you are um, you know what is the user that you are trying to log in as i am using it as rds user so that is the user that i created so if you remember and um, it will prompt me for a password so that is why i have given hyphen p what is the password that i used so if you remember i use the same password i told that i cannot remember many password so i went ahead and used the same password and this is rds db so i did not create any database i did not log i did not even log into my rds database then how did i get this rds db so that's a good question so if you see while we were creating the rds database itself if you remember i created one initial database called rds db so right now i'm in my rds aws rds console if you see i already have a database with the name rds db so that is what i'm trying to do here i'm dumping this ec2 dot uh, ec2 db dot sql file that i uh, got from my dump so i'm you know placing that inside this rds db that we just created okay so let me copy this to a notepad i need to replace that uh, uh, placeholder there so let me open a notepad so let me paste it here i need to replace this one with the uh, end point so let me go back to my rds let me go to connectivity so here is where our end point is so copy this end point without any space or uh, hyphen and uh, place it here right so this is the command that we need to use so let me copy this entire command and paste it in my ec2 so if you see this is the command this is my rds connect uh, you know um, rds endpoint this is the port and this is what we are doing right let me hit enter so it will ask me for password so what is the password that i used so this is the password so admin one two three four five six so let me copy that and paste it here so hit enter done we just migrated our ec2.sql ec2db.sql file from our existing database to rds right so let us verify so if you remember i did not log into my rts i did not do anything inside this database i just created that database and i it was empty it was an empty database now what i did i migrated my um, database uh, i mean i migrated the database from ec2 instance to this rds so let us verify if we have uh, all the data that we had inside ec2 database okay so do to do that you need to connect to your rds database so the command to connect is this one so you need you can use the same command but you can stop right here you need not specify any database name if you stop here that is fine okay so let me copy it from here itself it will be easy for me i will copy till here okay so let me paste that one again it will prompt me for password i can get my password back here in here so where i've stored so let me copy the same password and let me paste it here hit enter now if you see your prompt is telling that welcome to mariadb monitor so this is your rds database rds instance right now i'm in my rds database if you see i've used a host as demo rds so this is the you know end point of your rds instance right so you can use this command to um, you know access your rds database inside your ec2 instance okay so now let us run uh, you know uh, what is what are the databases that we have so command or the query to uh, you know see all the databases that you have is show so databases i hope i am uh, not making any typo here databases colon yeah right now if you see rds db sys and these are the default databases that um, mariadb creates on itself but this is the database that we created initially so this is where actually we dumped all our data inside so we need to check if we have all the data that we um, you know 
the dump that we had taken we uh, you know put that into this rds db so let us verify if we have that data so to use per this particular uh, uh, database you need to uh, write a query use rds rds db if you type enter now the database has been changed now you are trying to use rds db so now let me run a query to see all the tables or uh, this is the table that we had in our uh, you know dump if we let us run this and see if we have the same table here let me clear my screen first so let me run this query see if you see this was the data that we had in my um, ec2 database right now that is being migrated to our rds instance also so this is how you can migrate the existing database on your ec2 instance to your mariadb database on your rds all right so so that's it for uh, this demonstration uh, i hope you uh, learned something so how to migrate the database to your rds so um, that is uh, that is all i wanted to show you in this particular demonstration